Get a £5 free bet every week with Offer Club from William Hill. Simply stake a total of £20 or more across the week on pre-match football accumulators with four or more selections and you'll get a £5 free bet on the Friday. Join William Hill Offer Club on mobile or online now. James Held at Eiffel TV in association with Matt Clinch in my band. We're at Wembley Arena today on the undercard of George Groves v Edward Goodnet. With me, I've got none other than Nick Webb, and also joined by a trainer and ex pro Scott Welsh. How are you, mate? Yeah, very well. Thank good, you. good. Firstly, congratulations on your win. Good <coughs> second round stoppage against Ivica Petrovic. I hope I pronounced that right, Ivica. How do you assess tonight's win, mate? Yeah, good. I was, sort of, uh, I was working the body in the first round, getting him to drop his hands. And in the second round, I put one over the top, put him down. And then, uh, yeah, I kept on him, and then second round he didn't want to come out. Good measuring stick for yourself, is Alvika. He's been in with some good people. A couple of weeks ago, we saw him on, in Germany on the Cleverly Bramer undercard against David Price. Saw him out in Belfast probably a week after against Sean Sexy Turner, another heavyweight prospect, yeah. and sort of got, got quite a few rounds off him. So, good statement for yourself to come out and stop him as you did. Yeah, yeah, like. Yeah, you don't get stopped. You, you, you don't get stopped very often. A very durable know. man, isn't he? And, um, and Price looked good against him, really good. So yeah. I was I was impressed with the way Price dealt with him. The body shots, beautiful, two beautiful body shots. So we knew we knew that the pressure, if we put the pressure on him, we could we could stop him. But you know, obviously he's a tough guy and he's been in with a lot of guys. So speaking of tough guys and powerful guys, obviously you must have some sort of punch on you. Nine wins, eight of those coming by stoppage, yeah. which is a good record at any any sort of weight, let alone heavyweight. How sort of comfortable are you that if you hit them they're going to go? Yeah, we, you know, we're working hard in the gym, we're hitting, you know, Scott, he's been a heavyweight and he's told me, you know, I've got, I've got tremendous power and if I use that, I don't want to depend on it, but it's there, you know, as a bonus. And if I hit, I'm pretty confident that they're going out. Mm -hmm. he, he will knock out any man out there. Any, any, any guy he hits cleanly, he knocks out. Simple as that. He's a hell of a puncher. He's a physically strong man who, who walks through you when you stand in front of him. So he actually forces you back. So he's a he's a big strong man. So and, and you know this is what I say. So before I don't think he really understood what he had. So all I've all I've encouraged him to do is to use his best assets. You know, and that's his strength and his power. So obviously we're now adding the speed and the movement and you know, but we need. We need good sparring regular. The problem is we're struggling a bit with the sparring. So, you know, um, <clears throat> the plan is over the next couple of months is to now bring, start bringing them in more, bring the bodies over, mm. um, bring some Americans in, and mm. good quality sparring. I know he's only had nine fights, but are you at the stage now where you want to step up in opposition? You've had some good, some good measuring sticks and some good fighters like of Jakov Gospic on your record as well. But do you feel you want to sort of step up and? Face some some live fighters, if you like. Yeah, I mean, I mean, listen, we're we're ready now, but the the, the all we can do is deal with what we got. We got we got offered this shot again on this on this card. They've fitted us in. We've we've sat in the, here for two hours, ready to go. It wasn't ideal, but we've done the job, and um, we knew what we knew what was in front of us. We knew what to do when we get in there, so there's no problems. I think it was three um, hours. Yeah, or three hours, <laughs> yeah. Three getting hours. ready, getting back yeah. down, laying down. Nah, yeah. it's a nightmare. So yeah. what, what we're dealing with now, um, you know, we've been told we, we, we could be on the, uh, on the Frampton Cardi in Vegas. If we, if we do that, that's another, that, you know, hopefully that's another good win. We'll come back from there and by, about March time we'll be looking at titles. So, I mean, we're doing, he's done 10, 12 rounds in the gym every day. Has he boxed a 10 so rounder yet? He has, a, but he don't need to box a 10 rounder as long as he's doing the work in the gym. So we're doing we're doing everything right. We we know what we're doing and uh, everything's come together and you know, watch his space. He, he will be a champion very shortly. I want to ask you how you think the sort of heavyweight division lies at the moment with Tyson Fury <coughs> sort of vacating his titles and the, the world documentary problems he's had. Everybody seems to be clutching at belts mm. and trying to get some think, kind of shot. Know, what are your thoughts on it? As it I think it's very open and at the minute it's anyone's game. Obviously Joshua is at the top at the minute of his game, uh, down to Wilder and um, yeah so I just got to work my way up 
and be a challenger for them. So, uh, yeah, that's, yeah. that's the, that's the work, I and mean, that's what I want. By next summer, we want to be challenging for the British on a big stage. Um, that's where we want to be. Dillian White's got the British at the moment, no doubt by the time you're ready for that he'll be sort of moved on, but have you got aspirations and eyes to get test yourself against those kinds of yeah. people, the likes of Dillian White, oh, yeah. Anthony Joshua we, and we, so forth? We talk about it every yeah. day. To this, be the best, you've got to beat the best. Yeah. Exactly. So. I mean the thing is, you know, I had a career and my career was kind of, when I look at my career now, <coughs> I should have fought more names, you know, and what, what I've said to Nick is all the way through, you want to fight the names, we need to fight the names. We're not running from anybody, we'll, we'll take all comers. As I say, we're doing the work in the gym, that's all that matters, so um, there's no problem. You were a British heavyweight champion yourself, so do you see the same qualities in Nick, the fact that what you can see, the hunger, the power, the determination, do you think he'll get there? He's British champion all day long, so, um, you know, it's, it's the next level. So my my job is get him to the British and then we worry about the next next one after that so yeah. we'll get the British and then um, and then whatever's out there so but obviously we'll we'll do the work we're in no rush as I say next next summer we want to be challenging for a big belt against a big name and then whatever else comes you know we're ready Nick, last word to you before we go. Do you want to thank your friends, family, sponsors, and everyone that's helped you on your journey thus far? I want to thank everybody that's been there for me. Uh, my family, first and foremost. Scott here, he's been there pushing me every day. And my sponsors, uh, Dublin Group, uh, Shaw Group, Brian, um, you know, all these guys that are helping me along my way to, to get there and to do what I do. Without, without them guys, he, yeah. you know, it's, it's really tough to get there. So, you know, we, we couldn't do it without him. So we're very thankful that we got him on board. Yeah. On that note, congratulations on your win. Thank Enjoy you. your success. We look forward to hearing some news in January. And it'd be good to see you, hopefully, on the Frampton Santa Cruz 2 undercard, yeah. which yeah. would be a great Appreciate trip it. for you and a good profile boost at that. Yeah. Thanks, Nick. Appreciate Thank it. You. Cheers, Scott. Thank you. Cheers.